G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to pouring your heart out. I'm going to do a flip cup pour, similar to this one that I did the other day. It's dry around the edges, but that section in the middle is still wet. They take about mm, four or five days to dry, really, depending on the weather, because the paint's pretty thick. So I'm leaving out this dark green this time. And I think this one here, this, you can hardly see it, didn't show up very well. This sort of dark, pinky, reddish one, what's it called? Um, that one, permanent, permanent red violet, I'm leaving it out. Um, and this one, the phthalo green. Leaving it. it just took over a little bit more and this one, well, you can hardly see it at all. So anyway, taking those two out using the other colours and going for a flip cut pour again. Uh, if you saw this one, you'll know that my mix was a little bit on the thick side. It's the first time I've used the um, Amsterdam paints. So I just had to sort of adjust my ratios because normally I use the Montmartre. Um, so, which is a one-to-one. -one. These ones are more of one and a half to one. I've done one and a half parts pouring medium to one part paint today. Um, pouring medium is the 60% glue and 40% water. And then I mixed them <clears throat> almost one and a half to one. The pink one, I had to add a bit of water to it. It was quite thick. The others were pretty much the same. So I'm going to do three flips. I'm going to try and do what I did on that one. And instead of just dragging them down like that, I'm going to drag them and kind of run the lip of the cup over the top of the paint so that I don't get the stripes. I did that last time and I didn't get the stripes, so I was really happy with that. So one, two, three, four, five, six colours. I've got about 700 grams of mixed paint. For this canvas, it's a 30 by 40 centimetre, 12 by 16 inch. And I'm going to add my spot on treadmill silicone. And I'm going to do three drops in each. So I've got about three ounces in each, roughly, which is three drops. Actually, now I've got four ounces in each. I tell a lie. Four ounces in each, 120 grams. We'll just stick with the three. It won't matter. Three or four. It won't matter. <clears throat> right, let's give those a stir. And then I'll tell you about the colours. Now, who wants me to go back to basics and do a beginner's tutorial on acrylic pouring, on flip cup pours? Right from the beginning, go to woe. How to mix your pouring medium, how to mix your colours, how to check for consistencies, your silicone oil, all that kind of stuff. I mean, I skim over it every time I do a video, but does anybody want me to go right back to basics and start from the beginning? Because there's a lot of new people now that have been starting acrylic pouring in the last, you know, six months or so, or even 12 months since we've been home a lot more. So let me know down below if that's something that you'd be interested in. And I guess for those that are experienced, um, you may want a refresher or maybe you can just miss that video if you know all about your mixing ratios so anyway let me know right here we go i'm going to layer the cups twice so i'll use half my white for these three do all those come back use the other half all right so let's go we'll start with white and hopefully i've used half <laughs> my Consistency feels better today than it did the other time when I used these paints. It was just, yeah, a bit thick. Because it makes a difference, you know, on the brand of paint that you use. It, it really does. Some of them are thicker than others. Some of them are thinner than others. Those pre-mixed paints, I find them really too thin to, to do anything with, personally. I, I can't use them. I like my mix thicker. So these, this paint leaves a mound. Um, if you just hold the, hold your stick at the top of the cup there, it leaves a mound. 
Um, when you hold your stick up like that, not too high, again just at the top, the bottom of the stick at the top of the cup. If you hold it up like that and count to eight, like eight seconds, not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, but like one Mississippi, two Mississippi, or one cat and dog, two cat and dog, your stream should break at eight seconds ish. Then you know you got it right. If it's breaking at like five seconds, then it's way too thick. And if it's going along merrily and not breaking until about 12, then you know it's too thin. So that's how I do it. But yeah, like I said, I can go through all that if you guys would like a beginner's video. I can go through all that again and show you step by step. Be a long video, won't it? <laughs> because I'll show you how to mix your pouring medium as well. Your homemade pouring medium, that is. So this painting should be a little bit pale, more pale than the last one because I've taken out that dark green. The green, I, I think, really took over. I thought it took over. Because I've got two greens, you know, the, the light green, which is this lime here. Actually, I haven't told you about my colours yet, which is this sort of limey colour. And then the phthalo green. And then, of course, when you mix yellow and blue together, you get green. All right, so that was the white. Um, titanium white. This one here is, can't read upside down, permanent blue violet. The pink one is quinacridone rose light pretty pink. The yellow is azo yellow medium. This limey green which is a semi-transparent. You can see down there, see how those little squares half coloured in. Um, yellowish green. Yellowish green. And then we have turquoise blue. See how that square's coloured in? That's, that's an opaque. So I guess this is something as well I'll go over with um, in my little tutorial, different opacities as well. You try you try to put um, different opacities next to each other when you're layering your cup as well. Although the the yellow and the green are both semi-transparent, the turquoise is opaque. The purple, this one is, this one's a transparent. The pink is an opaque, so yeah. I'll probably get pink rings around purple cells, putting these two next to each other, maybe. <laughs> we'll see if I'm right. With an opaque next to a transparent. We shall see, hey? See how we go. So depending on what this looks like when I'm finished, because I haven't quite decided yet. Initially, I was going to do another marble pour. But, you know, if your cells are really, really amazing cells, you don't want to ruin them putting a marble through them because it, it pulls everything. Um, yeah, so I don't know. We'll see. I've, I also filled up a couple of balloons with water and I thought I may do some little balloon dips. So we'll just see what happens. I may just leave them plain cells. I may do a marble pour. I may do little balloon dips. Uh, we'll see what happens. I'm open to suggestions. Not that you guys can talk to me. Hey, should we do a live at some stage? Hey. I'm a bit put off, actually, because last time I did a live, <clears throat> like... You know, you're putting yourself out there. You're putting your face out on YouTube to thousands of people. And um, just this one comment, like, has always stuck with me. Like, she picked on my eyeliner for all things. I know it's not a big thing, but, you know, every time I put my eyeliner on, I think, oh, gosh, have I got too much eyeliner on? It's amazing how little things, like, one little comment can affect people. So, I know I shouldn't listen to them, but... You know, it's how I do my eyeliner. <laughs> she obviously didn't like it. I shouldn't. I shouldn't let things like that bother me, should I? But you do. You, you do. I think you do. People do. We always worry about what other people think, and we try not to, but we do. We do try. We do care too much about what other people think, don't we? And we shouldn't. We should just be happy in ourselves. But it is a little bit scary going out there and doing a live. 
I think if, if you do it more all the time, you know, it's it's quite, I guess, gets easier. But, um, yeah, I should I should do one. I just have to work out again how to do it. Because <laughs> you've got the technical side of it, you know, and then you've got the time differences. And then, you know, you've got to try and read comments from people while you're trying to pour. And like, it's not easy. So I kind of, like I said, I've done the one and then I've kind of avoided them because they're not that easy to do. But I could try again. Now, hopefully you haven't got too much paint this time. Oh, look at that. That's so pretty, little pink. Oh, look at that. Wow, look at that. These colours, maybe I should do like a ring pour in those colours. It's got a tiny little baby ring pour just there. It's so cute. Oh, those are nice. Those colours together are really nice. All right, I've got my little palette knife to pick up paint to go on the sides. I've got my corner catcher with just a piece of cardboard that I've cut down. All right, I wanted to go and get my torch. I haven't got my torch yet. And if I can zoom you in a little bit. Oh, I better not. Then you won't be able to see what I'm tilting. Maybe we can zoom later. All right, here we go. Now I'm going to flip and try and... Just scrape the top of the paint with my cup, if I can. If I can. Oh, gosh. Oh, that didn't really go to plan. I kind of did it. It got suctioned. Suctioned down to my cup, uh, down to the canvas. <laughs> oh, gosh. Put some of that paint back on the corners. Here we go. I think somehow I've got too much paint again. How did I do that? Oh, that's better. This one's got more yellow in it for some reason. Whether or not this is a good idea to do this, I, I don't know, but we'll just see. Hey, get rid of those. I don't need those anymore. Right, so I'm going to cover the whole canvas before I start torching. Oh, look at that little cute cell. Hello. Welcome to the world. Now, because I don't have stripes, I don't need to keep my stripes in line. So I'm just going to go off to this first corner, come back. Try and use your corner catches, guys, so that you're not wasting too much paint. Because when you torch, you really want as much paint on the surface as you can. Because you get prettier cells if you've got nice thick paint and I don't mean thick consistency I mean a thick layer of paint now I'll hold the push pin down here into that corner back so once you've covered the whole canvas and then you can torch and then you can move your paint around like you can check your um, Oh, what's the word? Not consistency. Check your composition. I knew it started with a C. Check your composition. I'm swiping my hands. Um, and then you can grow your cells as well. So, now let me check my corners. This one needs a bit of purple. There's some purple. We all do. There's a bit of purple under there. Just run your little palette knife underneath to stop the paint from continuing to run off. Because if you've got it dripping down the sides, it'll want to keep pulling down. So just wipe it off. All right. Gee, that turquoise has taken over. I've got that beautiful yellow there. I'm going to try and keep that. If I have to tilt anything, it'll go maybe that way. Because I like this purple through here. Yeah, the turquoise is an opaque. Anyway, let's see what happens. I'm sure the colours will change a lot once I start torching. I'm going to use Big Boy here. He likes to come out and play, don't you, Big Boy? All right. Now, as usual, start from up high. Don't get too close. Go around once. Come back, go around again. You can see all the little dots. See those little dots? Those are little air bubbles popping. All right, so we go around again now. I'm just going around in little circles. Try 
try not to torch where you've already got cells popped up. Whoops, got a bit close. Got a bit close. It's very carnival kind of colours, aren't they? These colours, they're really pretty. So now I'm just getting a little bit closer in the areas where I want more cells to come up. Actually, maybe I won't get closer. I'll just put the heat on and just go round and round in little circles above it, but not get any closer. That way we'll just get gentle heat going through. So if you get too close, you get a big cluster and you tend to get caterpillars, which are those cells that join together into a long caterpillar. <laughs> Tending to get very much through there. I'm torching a lot, not getting a lot. Maybe that um, turquoise might have been a bit thick. It's quite hard to get all your colours to be exactly the same consistency. Loving this brightness here. Oh, look, I've got a caterpillar. Alright, still not getting much over in this section here for some reason. Just concentrating my torching there and here. too thick. See this turquoise here, like I said it's the opaque, so not much wants to sort of pop through that. Might have been a little bit thicker than the others too. All right I'm gonna um, do a bit of a tilt and stretch some of this paint out and then I'll come back and torch again once maybe that turquoise has thinned itself out a little bit because it might be a little bit thick in some areas and the cells can't pop through. So um, I'm going to try and keep that. I think I'll try and move down this way a little bit. Now always remember to walk your paint. See that blob there? Let's get rid of that. Walk, walk, walk. Okay, back up. Now, before I go back up the other way, well, that's brightened it up, hasn't it? Got rid of a lot of that turquoise off the edge there. And I managed to keep my yellow. Now, let's see if I can get a little, few more little cells now that I've thinned that turquoise out a bit. Need any more on this half? This is where I need to decide if I want to use my little balloon and do some little balloon dips. Kind of. The only thing is, you you need to wait. You can't really do it now. You've got to wait until your paint's um, thickened up a little bit. Otherwise, if you push down with your balloon, the paint just all comes back into the centre. So you need to wait. And um, I've got quite a lot going on today. I don't know that I've can, got time to... Oops. <laughs> Too close. I don't know that I've got time to come back. My little puppy, my little um, tiny teacup's going this morning. Oh, in an hour. Oh, my gosh, in an hour. All right. So, wow, look at that. Now, I don't think I'll tilt again because the big cells here, I don't want to overstretch them. The little ones that have popped up after my second torch, they will just pop up and just grow a tiny bit. So I actually like the difference in the big ones and the small ones. I've got a little bit of a stripey happening, but it's very organic. I do like it. Now, this is where I wish you guys could say, yes, use the marble or yes, use the balloon. 
I got um, a blew up well I put water in these this is a tiny little balloon um, it's actually a water bomb balloon and then there's my bigger one so I could dip but like I said I can't do it now and then I've got these two marbles probably that one but I don't know I don't know do we like it just like it is oh it's um it's very much lighter let me grab the other one I think I prefer the colors on this one this one's the purple and the green have really taken over but this one just without that dark green it's much uh, it's much lighter isn't it it's really pretty decisions decisions anyway let me take you down for a close-up um, I don't know I mean obviously I can't do the balloon dip now but I could throw a marble on it and do some marble work couldn't we oh I don't know all right let me get you down Put you down and have a little peekaboo. Put you on autofocus. Look at the cells. They're really pretty cells. You gotta be, you know, you gotta be careful of some colours muddying together. But if your mixes on the thicker side, they don't tend to blend as much. If your paints are really thin, then yeah, they'll blend a lot and get quite muddy. Where the pink and the yellow have kind of blended, we're getting an orange, which is really pretty. So I didn't use any orange in here. Moving our way through. See, a lot of the cells have got multi-colors, multi-rings. And we were going to talk about the pink and the purple. Hey, how I said we were going to get pink rings around our purple. Let's find some more purple ones. There we go. Pink rings around the purple. Where else? Where else is purple and pink? Um, yeah, there it's got some white as well. There's a weird looking caterpillar. Look at that. We've got lots of rings around those. Look at that one. That one's got, I don't know what color is that on the outside. Then it's got yellow and it's got purple and it's got white. Oh, there's two little eyes. Look, oh, look at that. Look at that way. Two little eyes and a mouth. <laughs> Hello. That's so cute. Anyway, there it is. <laughs> Do I want to ruin it with some with a marble or with a balloon look I've done so many flip cut pours I kind of think I'd like to do something with it I'm just not sure what I think this little balloon's going to be way too small to do anything with unless I put it like into the middle of just a small section of cells Mm. Oh, I'm so indecisive because if I go ahead and do one I'm gonna have to do the whole lot aren't I hmm yes doggies yes doggies <laughs> this is the area I've just opened up it hasn't got any grass it's just been opened up <laughs> See that fence post there? That used to be a fence there. And then this was where we stored the trailer. But because we're um, I'm getting ready to do my studio, so I'm moving the fence, you see. Hello, Izzy. So now they can actually come around and see me. Hi, babies. Hello. No, mummy's working. I'll come out and see you soon. But eventually, um, yeah, that retaining wall there is going to be knocked down and that grass will continue out through here. All right, mummy's got to go back to work. Oh my gosh, it is pretty, isn't it? Um, look, 
I'll put a photo up. I'll stop there. I'm going to put a photo up on my Facebook group and say, what do you think, guys? A, leave it. B, balloon dips. Three, marble. We'll see what happens. And then I'll, I might come back and, and do it. We'll see. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you want that um, beginner's tutorial, like I said. And um, I'll organise that for you. And uh, I'll see you real soon for the next video. All right. Love you all. Take care. Bye for now.